Saida, with a popular trade name Bella and Kurundoti in Malayalam, is an important medicinal plant used in the Indian systems of medicine as well as folklore practices. Acharya Chairaga described the drug Bella as one of the best medicine or agraushada. According to Acharya Chairaga, Bella Sangrihiga Balya Vata Haranam Sreshtam. That means Bala or Saida is the best plant for treating diarrhea and dysentery, for gaining strength and for pacifying vitiated rheumatism. Saida belongs to family Malvisi, the cotton family. It is a subshrub with strong and stout roots and stems. It grows well throughout the plains of India, especially in the tropical zone. According to National Medicinal Plants Board NMPB, Saida or Bella is the third most consumed drug in Ayurveda pharmaceutical industry with an estimated annual trade of 9,339 metric tons in 2009. In the Ayurvedic system of medicine, Bella is used as anti-rheumatic, analgesic, antipyretic, anti-asthmatic, decongestant, antiviral, laxative, diuretic, aphrodisiac, hypoglycemic, hepatoprotective and for treating of Parkinson's disease. In Ayurveda, Bella is used as a single drug and as an ingredient in most of the popular and extensively used formulations. For instance, it is an important ingredient of most popular formulations such as Chavana Prasha, Kshira Bala, Dhanundaram, Balarishtam, Rasnadi Kashayam, Ashwagandilehyam, Agastya Rasayanam, Aravindasavam, etc. in the form of medicated oil, fermented drugs, medicated ghee, powder, etc. As per the text, Bhava Pragasha Nikandu, there are four types of Bala, namely Bala, Adibala, Nagabala and Mahabala and all have similar use. In the state of Kerala, 18 species of Saida are recorded and among them, Saida alnifolia is the most preferred botanical source of Bala. Based on stem colour, two types of Saida alnifolia, namely Vella Kurundoti and Karim Kurundoti are growing in Kerala. Some practitioners prefer Karim Kurundoti. Saida alnifolia is a subshrub that grows to 200 cm tall with strong branches. It is estimated that the annual consumption of cider by the industries in Kerala is 1,194 tons. Over the years, the requirement for the Ayurvedic industry and traditional medicines were met entirely from wild sources. Roadsides in villages and rural areas are a good source of kurundoti. Clearing of bush growth along the roadsides have affected the availability of kurundoti. In order to meet the increasing demand, we need to take measures to promote cultivation and create awareness among the people, particularly the farmers, about cultivation practices and economics of kurundoti. The National Medicinal Plants Board NMPB under the Ministry of Ayush is the apex body for promotion of the medicinal plants in the country. In order to strengthen the functioning of NMPB, seven regional come facilitation centres RCFCs have been established in different regions. The RCFC Southern Region RCFC SR Housed in KFRIPG, covers five southern states namely Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Telangana and the three union territories namely Puducherry, Lakshadweep and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. 
one of the mandate of RCFC Southern Region is to facilitate production and distribution of quality planting materials of medicinal plants including cider and nifolia. This documentary is created to disseminate scientifically validated agro techniques developed for the Kurundoti to all stakeholders of the medicinal plant sector. Kurundoti can be cultivated in variety of soils but grows well in well-drained gravelly soil. Seeds are the best propagation material but it can also be propagated through branch cuttings. Mature seeds can be collected during November to March. Seeds are small and around 62,500 seeds weigh 1 kilo. Seeds remain viable for one year. Kurundoti seeds can be sowed in the nursery beds or suitable containers during March-April. For better germination, keep the seeds for 3 minutes in boiled water and then transfer into normal water for 24 hours prior to sowing. Seeds can be sown in raised mother beds of size 10 meter length, 1 meter width and 30 centimeter height using equal quantities of soil, sand and farmyard manure. If containers are used, sow the seeds in vermiculate. The seeds can germinate within 3 to 13 days. 7 to 14 days old seedlings can be plucked and transplanted into main feed. For vegetative propagation, use tender stem cuttings of 15 to 20 cm long with 3 to 4 nodes. Treating stem cuttings with rooting hormone increases rooting percentage. Place the fresh and tender stem cuttings in poly bag filled with potting mixture and keep them in a moist, humid environment. It will take 20 to 30 days for rooting and well-grown propagules can be plucked and transplanted into the main field during the onset of southwest monsoon in May-June in small pits at an emplacement of 30 cm spacing. Before planting, plough the land well and remove weeds and pebbles. Weeding and hoeing at an interval of 20 to 30 days will improve the yield. Although manure is not applied on fertile soil, application of cow dung increases productivity. Kurundoti is a six-month crop, so plant them in the fields during May or June and it will be ready for harvest by November or December. It's before harvesting the plants, collect the top portion containing fruits and dry them under the sun, followed by beating with a stick to separate the seeds. One plant can produce as many as 11,600 seeds and after drying will be about 150 grams. Dried seeds can be stored even for about one year period. However, seeds kept in cold storage at 16 degrees Celsius will be viable about two years. It is better to use fresh seeds for raising seedlings. 6 to 7 months after planting, plants will reach 1.5 to 2 meters in height with root length of 30 to 50 centimeters. Harvesting is by uprooting the entire plant. Harvesting is easy if the soil is moist or it may have to be ploughed out. After discarding leaves, small branches and twigs of the harvested plants, Clean the roots for removing soils and other impurities. After thorough sun drying, tie them into 2 kg bundles and store under lowest possible humidity condition. It is estimated that the dry weight yield of Kurundoti will be around 1 to 1.5 tons per hectare. Cultivation of Kurundoti is profitable to farmers. When Kurundoti is grown as a sole crop, it is estimated that Rs 60,000 per hectare will be the total cost of cultivation and management of crops, harvesting and post-harvest processing. With the expected sale price of Rs 80 to 90 per kilogram of dry roots of Kurundoti, 
The income from one hectare land will be around Rs 89,000 to 135,000. The cost of cultivation can be reduced in subsequent years as natural regeneration takes place in the next season. Kurundoti is a highly reputable medicinal herb with a number of therapeutic uses in the Ayurveda and other traditional systems of medicine in India and various other countries. Its annual requirement in the Indian herbal industry already exceeded 10,000 metric tons with a significant shortage of supply mainly from the wild. Therefore, considering its increasing demand, poor availability and profitability of cultivation, growing kurundoti which is a short duration crop need to be promoted.